As we continue to talk about resistance training for older adults and how it impacts your cardiovascular workout, we have to look at some of the smaller muscle groups. We'd like to talk then about exercises today for the smaller hip muscles. That will help increase your stride benefit and make sure that your cardiovascular exercise is the most efficient it can be. If you're having any unusual gait changes, you're having an unusual balance problems, or changes in stability or increased pain, it can be from these smaller muscle groups. And so we can look at some things that might help you resolve some of those issues. Position. You'll need a chair with a, uh, that you can place your hand on the side. You're going to just do some leg lifts out to the side, but it's important not to let the right leg rotate up, but rather keep the toe down. Make sure you're lifting with that hip and back down. When you uh, turn around the other direction, complete it on the other leg, and to intensify it, again, you can take a small weight, resting your hand for some support. The weight goes on that hip that you're going to be working with, and again, lift out to the side, keeping the toe pointed down and out. Putting a little pressure on that hand makes that weight work a little bit harder. Then, again, 10 repetitions on one side, turn around, make sure your hand's placed properly for support, and 10 repetitions on the other Today side. Today is squats. They sound hard, but they really are not too difficult. You're gonna start with that, those feet spread shoulder width apart, squatting back onto the heels. You wanna keep that chest and face up and feel the weight in your heels as you come back up. The motion of coming up really does the work on the hips. To increase the work of that, you're going to do some traveling squats. Squat, come back and use that inside leg to push off a bit, feet come together. Same thing again, step, and squat slowly, keeping that face up, press again with that inside leg and come back together. Then of course the reverse would be true, stepping back towards the chair, squat, faces up, weight is in the heels, pressing off with the outside leg to bring you back closer to the chair. Same thing again, step and squat, slowly reach for the chair for support and push off with that outer leg. Repeating that back and forth 10 times will work the outer hip rotators more than the, the thighs and the hamstrings and still give, it, give you that great benefit of working the core too. Thank you. Remember, when you begin any exercise program, please check with your physician. It'll help you plan carefully and you'll get the most benefit out of your workout.